In the last few years, we've seen massive change in the curriculum, both in the GCSE and the A-level. And a lot of the evidence shows that there's a trend towards actually integrating more technology within the lesson, especially in the A-level. But then again, within adding uh, more content in the GCSE, and especially that new grade nine target that brings a lot of the topics down from A-level, uh, we can see an, a good implementation of it within the GCSE and a preparation of our students to the A-level as well. It's about engaging with uh, a different technology. Um, we're very keen to work with external partners and uh, Casio was ideal really in terms of pushing the innovation that we strive for across the whole school and particularly in the maths department, it's a very outward looking maths department and it's pushing those boundaries really to get the best out of our maths teaching, to get the best out of our students in terms of achievement and I think the use of graphical calculators through Casio was ideal for that. My uh, learners who are maybe less confident, especially in attempting the hard problems, uh, as soon as they can uh, visualise it using the graphical calculator, it, it gives them an entry onto the, onto the problem. And from there, uh, obviously discussing it in the class and uh, using the, that strong visual, it's really benefited um, my weakest to my strong learners to just uh, well, get more marks essentially um, to help boost their GCSE grade. So it's really, really beneficial. We've decided to trial it with our year 12s um, and, and teaching through the lessons and then trying some assessments without the graphic calculator and some with it and see, trying to assess whether there's an impact to them. And at the same time, we thought, let's prepare the year 11s for the A-level because we've, we've noticed a lot of challenges with the year 12s and we thought if we can um, get rid of some of those challenges in year 11, um, then it'll work for in our advantage. We want the, the next edge to be that leading edge to get the best of our students and constantly looking for the new things really that will get the best out of our teachers. It isn't about replacing the teachers, it's about supplementing that expertise and, and drawing upon the expertise and the technology to make sure the most efficient learning is taking place. A lot of the time, you've got students who can visualize the maths in their heads and then memorize the certain formulas and then apply it all in their heads. But then you've got those other students who it's very difficult for them to remember the formulas, remember the actual um, the graphs inside in their head and then actually apply it. Uh, and I've seen a change and a shift. Um, and though those students actually progress faster as well. And there are specific examples of students. It was quite exciting hearing some year 12 saying, when did maths become so easy? We have recently done a, two tests where, with our year 12s, where in one of them they used the scientific calculators and in the other one they used the graphic calculators. Um, almost all students, apart from two, um, so we're talking about a group of 20, so apart from two students, everyone else had better results in the, in the gra graphic calculator test over the scientific one. Um, some of them even had 10 marks difference between one and the other. Uh, they've they've really started to see the benefits of it. I mean, even if it's just not even looking at the graphical part of a question, just checking the accuracy of their answers, they can essentially leave an exam and they know full well they've got a certain amount of marks in the bag. And for some pupils, that will really give them that boost on the, the GCSE day. The benefits we've seen by using the graphic calculator was there are certain students that have actually seen massive progress within a small duration of time. Um, and it doesn't usually happen like that. And, and I think it's, it's exactly with that, the fact that they can see, they can visualize, they can then problem solve by using the graphic calculator, giving them some answers and thinking, well, why didn't I get those answers? With careful implementation and, and the way you introduce it, students can become better problem solvers. And you can use it as a tool for problem solving, for deeper understanding um, and learning as well.